Alright guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to move our spaceship using our keyboard in the left and the right hand side direction. And in this video, I was about to give it some enemies, but then I realized our spaceship is just moving out of the screen when we go to the left and when we go to the right. So why is this happening? So when it goes to the right, this right border of the spaceship of our game window, it actually reaches the 800 width that we have set. And when it goes beyond this 800, it goes to maybe 810 and 805 pixels. So there's no restriction right now to the spaceship movement in the left and the right hand side direction. And similarly, when it moves to left hand side, it goes a little bit lesser than zero and it goes into minus territory because this x coordinate is an integer this that's why it can go to negatives and uh, even it can go to minus 450 or something so what what should we do so what we are going to do is that when it reaches the zero coordinate then we are going to anytime it goes into negative stuff we are going to make sure that it stays at zero by using an if condition so we are going to basically tell our spaceship that hey if your x coordinate reaches zero or less than zero make sure it turns back to zero and similarly on the right hand side we are going to tell our spaceship if your x coordinate reaches this 800 x coordinate mark then i don't want you to go beyond it and change your x coordinate to 800 again so every time it goes beyond 800 it's gonna just delete itself and go back to 800 but it's gonna happen so quickly that the eyes won't see it and it will look like that the spaceship can't go beyond 800. So let's do that. Let's uh, write an if condition just beyond this uh, arithmetic operator we have over here. And as I said, we are just going to write player x. If this player x becomes less than zero, that is the x coordinate becomes less than zero. Then we are going to change the value of player x to zero. And similarly, if our, uh, let's write lf, lf player x becomes greater than or equal to 736 pixels. So why are we taking the 736 pixels instead of 800 pixels? So because our pixel, uh, we have to take into consideration the size of our spaceship. So if you remember the PNG size of the spaceship is 64 by 64 pixels. So the width of this uh, spaceship is 64 pixels. That is why we are subtracting 64 from 800 and that means 736 pixels. So if we chose any other number, for example, 800, then it will stop at this point and not before that. But we want it to stop over here and not allow any part of spaceship to appear beyond the game window. So that's why we are choosing this 736 pixel number. We just subtracted 64 from 800. And over here, we are just gonna change the value of, uh, whenever it goes beyond 736, we want it to again go 72 to back to 736 X coordinate. And this will mean that uh, it will look that it cannot go beyond, but it is actually, but it's just deleting that uh, spaceship and creating a new one at 736 X coordinate pixel. So let's check this out and hopefully it works well. Let's reload it and uh, let's see if it works or not. So as you can see, when I press the right arrow key, it doesn't move beyond this and feel free to try it yourself and change the X coordinates, just experiment with it a little bit. So the last video was pretty long and this video is pretty short, so that's good. So in the next video, we are finally going to create an enemy for a spaceship. So I'll see you over there.